guys, it's Hill Sapphire here. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys a story about my very special little girl who's right here. See, she knew I was talking about her. Um, yeah, you guys have seen her once, I think, in my best friend's um, random vlog, but this cat means a lot more to me than just, you know, any pet. <laughs> so, you know, a couple years ago, when I had a, been in the hospital for my eating disorder, my dad said, you know, if I get better, then I can get this cat. Like, she was part of a litter of my aunt's um, cat, and I, like, I knew she was a runt, you know, I didn't know she had medical problems, but I knew she was a runt, and I'm like, I don't care, I want her, that's what I want, I want the runt, I had a name picked out and everything, and, um, so yeah, I got her, you know, and she was breathing heavy, and it was kind of weird, so we brought her to the vet, and it turns out she had an inverted chest bone, she had pneumonia, and it was really bad, and I didn't even know she was going to make it, because at first, they're like, we don't know if she has leukemia or something like that, and that kind of broke my heart. I'm like, oh my god, I'm not going to have much time with her. You know, she's not going to make it, and all that stuff. So, they ended up giving us this medication for the pneumonia, and it was very hard to give it to her, because she was like, just a little kitten, and she cried and cried and cried when we tried giving this to her, and it was, it literally broke my heart. Not only that, but she she was only six weeks old when I got her which thank god because she could be dead right now now if it hadn't been for us getting her at six weeks as soon as I got out of the hospital and she wouldn't eat she like refused to eat out of like a container off a spoon anything it was well mushed up I mushed it up for her the only way she would eat is if I um finger fed her and so I practically had to wean her myself so she would eat um you know, and she is a very healthy kitty now, obviously. She still does breathe heavy sometimes. You know, she still has an inverted chest bone and everything, but she's a little trooper. And I remember she got pregnant, and that's where, like, oh, we don't know she's it's going to be good for her. She might not make it, you know. She's so little, and with her, her like, chest bone, she might not make it. And, um, well, needless to say, she had popped up four little babies. <laughs> and that orange cat in my one video named Cupid... That's actually her kid. It seems kind of weird that she would have that, but yeah, that's her kid, and I love them both to death, but this one, she is like my child, and I love her, you know, with everything in me, so she's very, um, she can be a much of a nuisance, and she trips me almost every day, like, nonstop, but, you know, she is, she's a sweet little kitty, and she's one of a kind, and whenever, um, you know, she goes one day, it'll probably be the saddest, one of the saddest days of my life because she is like my daughter. And so I just want to share that story with you guys because, um, you know, I have a very emotional connection to my cat and I don't know if you guys have any emotional connections to your animals, maybe it's just me, but I saved her life and essentially she saved mine too. So thanks for watching and make sure to leave a like and subscribe.